The next procedure that we're going to cover will be an example of a blind spot monitor procedure. These procedures can be done in any order. I'm just choosing that one because it's at the top. The home position screen will pop up. Always follow the on-screen instructions and graphics to ensure that you're in the proper location. You'll know this because the targets will go green on the wheels. The sensors will go to their maximum height. And at the beginning of every procedure, we will also indicate clear space on the floor with green line lasers and the red pointer indicator. So we know we have the appropriate amount of room to complete the calibration. At this point, for a Honda vehicle, we would need to remove the bumper. Next, we're going to need to mount a target ID for the remote stand. Target IDs can be found on the target, labeled with the number that's on the screen, in this case, 322. It also indicates that you would need to scan that QR code so that this can be saved in the memory that you use the correct target. This will also be on the printout. We have our red dot laser back in, in the left rear of the vehicle, indicating approximately where the remote stand is gonna be placed. We're gonna measure the floor so that we can properly place the remote stand. I will mount the plate to the remote stand as well. At this point, what we need to do is align the circle on the remote plate with the red dot and the green line laser along the red line on the bottom of the remote stand. That will look like this. So I will place the red dot in the target and the green line along the red line of the remote stand. Next, I need to level the remote stand. That is done by actuating the lever at the top Actuating it this way allows for movement. Actuating it this way allows for it to be locked. I'm also going to rotate the target at the top of the remote stand to roughly aim at the left gimbal. The reason I do that is because the left gimbal will shoot a laser out, as you can see indicated here on my hand, that I need to align with the dot on the top of the remote stand. So I'll simply unlock the remote stand and move that red laser into the middle of the dot on the remote stand and lock it down. Next, we need to make a fine adjustment on this stand. This is where that red dot will flash and a time of flight measurement will be taken. If it's perfect, it will go ahead and progress. If it were not perfect, you would need to unlock the stand and move up and down on the line until the dot stopped flashing. Now what we need to do is align our plate to the correct height. So what you'll see is there is a trigger on this handle. Once that trigger is engaged, the handle will move up and down. Once you disengage it, it locks the handle. So I'll go ahead and move the handle down and you'll see the red dot appear and I want to line the red dot between the two red lines. Once I've achieved that, I will release the handle and I can continue on. We'll check to make sure that that is at the correct height. At this point, we would use the laser pointer directly on the radar that is behind the bumper to confirm placement. That finishes this procedure. 